here we go. I'm just trying to leave something behind. What's up, everybody? My name is Mike from the Super Wheeler Bros, and today what we have for you is a review of the Ben Affleck action movie, The Accountant. Now, there is going to be spoilers here just because it's really hard to talk about certain things and certain aspects of the movie without spoiling it, so I'm just going to warn you that if you haven't seen the movie, definitely go check it out. It just popped up on Blu-ray, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out and then head on back so that you can watch the review. So we're going to talk about it, and then at the end, we're definitely going to give it a grade. And let's get into it. So The Accountant is a action movie starring Ben Affleck. And if you just want the short version here, I really, really enjoyed The Accountant. I thought that it was awesome. And to go back and see that the reviews on it were kind of lukewarm, I was really surprised. It does a fantastic job of being tense and creating a palpable backstory for more than one character actually kind of linking things together and and not just being your standard action vehicle and at least making you think and having the wrinkle of making our main character have a form of autism that makes everything a little bit different and difficult for him is really an interesting way to go about things and it really drew me in it really made me connect to Ben Affleck's character who his real name is never revealed in this movie but he goes by uh, Christian Wolf the fact that he is mathematically just a genius but has a really hard time connecting with people is a really interesting thing for an action movie to portray and it's at the forefront and I thought that Ben Affleck did a great job. You know, I know that could come across as a little bit stoic at times, but it's really just the character. And what really sells it and makes it work is his interaction with Anna Kendrick. And they have just a few scenes together. And Anna Kendrick is, is not in the movie all that much, but their interactions are really important to this movie working. And, you know, it, it does a great job of making us care about Dana, played by Anna Kendrick. And it, it makes us really feel for Ben Affleck's character, Christian. And just the two of them connecting right in the middle of the movie was really great. Now, there is an aspect of the movie that I didn't fully understand why it was necessary. Simply because there's never really a big payoff for anybody but J.K. Simmons' character as the main treasury agent that are looking for Christian and trying to figure out, you know, exactly who he is. There, There's a little bit of a satisfaction made with his character, but other than that, it, you know, it, the searching for Christian, I think it kind of pads the runtime out a little bit, and it gives us, you know, a really great performance by J.K. Simmons as a secondary character. But that's really all it serves, so it kind of does miss the boat a little bit on that. And if there was any other portion of the movie that maybe I could understand why maybe it got a little bit less of a good score, is the fact that it doesn't have a main antagonist, really. And there's a lot of faceless villains. You know, John Lithgow basically doesn't play a huge role in this movie either. This is where I'm going to get into spoiler territory, and this is why... I wanted to kind of discuss it in a little bit more detail. John Lithgow is basically our guy who triggers everything. He saw some discrepancies, basically trying to pump money back into his business so that he could create different things and basically uh, get more money so that he could basically enhance his stock. Christian finds out about it, so he tries to have both him and Dana killed, who found the discrepancy, and that's how they meet. And he's just a wimp, and he hires John Bernthal and his group of mercenaries, and you think that John Bernthal is going to be kind of the main bad guy, the main guy stopping, and there's going to be this big mano imano fight at the end, and it elects to go a really different way. When Christian's a kid and he's getting trained on how to do these different things 
like being able to shoot and fight, he's got his little brother with him. And not much is really said about the little brother. And it turns out that by the end of the movie, the little brother is actually John Bernthal. And it was a great twist. It was an emotional twist. I really like John Bernthal and the performance that he gave. It was really charming and funny during the movie, even while he was doing some ruthless stuff. So what I enjoyed was the connection there, but it left you without a real satisfying climax in a traditional action sense. But I enjoyed it more because it wasn't traditional. It didn't end the way you think it was going to end. Yes, it did have kind of a predictable follow-up scene to that where basically, you know, we get to see that, that Christian sent the painting, the Mont Blanc, or I, I, I'm sorry, I can't even remember the painting that Anna Kendrick talked about, but it's in an actual authentic painting that she found in his trailer that she remarked on how much she loved it, but she wanted to be an artist, and he sent it to her, and it was a great little footnote on the end of the movie but that part was a little bit predictable and I just thought that the way that that everything unfolded was really 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 enjoyable and while like I said with another review that that I just did here uh, Patriots Day that it wasn't perfect the accountant was really underrated based on what the critics showed it and it kind of came in under the radar but Ben Affleck was awesome in it, and it was a great, well-told, well-written story that was directed by Gavin O'Connor, who have brought us the likes of Pride and Glory and Warrior, a couple of other really good movies that kind of fly under the radar. Ben Affleck in the lead is really effective. I don't think he was outshined by his co-stars necessarily, but I thought that it seemed like the secondary characters, including John Bernthal as Braxton, Anna Kendrick as Dana, J.K. Simmons as Ray King, and even Jeffrey Tambor, who played Francis, had some really great smaller bits in the movie. If I was going to score this movie, I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. A really solid, fun, enjoyable action movie. Not one that is just all about the popcorn. It is one that, yeah, you can pop some popcorn and really enjoy it, but it's also one that challenges you to think and maybe I give it a couple of higher points than most people do because I enjoy the fact that it wasn't just a turn your brain off and watch action movie which I still enjoy a lot and a lot more than I did a few years ago but this one right here I think everybody would probably really enjoy it I would say that I highly recommend watching The Accountant tell us what you think in the comments below did you enjoy The Accountant as much as I did or did you not like it let me know in the comments below. I would love to discuss it with you. If you did enjoy this review or enjoyed my company on this video, definitely drop us a like. It really helps us out. And if you enjoy this video and you want to see more in the future, definitely hit that subscribe button as we've got tons and tons coming at you here in the near future. My name is Mike from the Super Wheeler Bros. And as always, people, have yourselves a super week. I'm just trying to leave something behind.